What's up, everybody? My name is Flowmaster. Today, I'm going to take you to my five recovery tools that I use on a daily basis. Why is recovery so important? The person who can recover faster can get in the game, get back on the dance floor, or get back in the ring. They used to have an old saying that I really don't like, train hard to win, but I believe recover to win. So let's get into my five top recovery tools. Recovery tool number one, the Normatec. Why is the Normatec so incredible? Because when you have a hard leg workout, and I use that the legs because they have the arms as well, but when you have a hard leg workout, the Normatec have these compressions that goes from your feet, ankles, to your calf, to your knees, to your lower thigh and your upper thigh. So why is that so important? Because it gets rid of the inflammation and elastic acid in the waist that's in your legs. So the compression compress, pushes out, releases, and let all the good nutrients come into your legs. Now when should you do this? You should have 30 to an hour after your workout to get into the normal tech. The quicker you get in this, the more your body will be ready to recover. But remember, these are like Michael Jordan shoes. You got to really Put this away because people will take it. This is a, height, a hot item. All right, here it is. This is the interface for the Normatec. As you push this button here, you have this top knot right up here. So you see 40 seconds. When I'm having a hard workout, sometimes I do 40 or I go to an hour, but today I'm gonna do 40. Down the bottom, these numbers right here tells you how much compression do you want. So I'm crazy. So I love to go to seven. Now the old model used to go to 10, but now they only made it to seven. So now I'm set, all I gotta do is push start. It's gonna go through all the chambers first to make sure all the chamber is working. So right now it's at the foot. It's gonna make sure the foot is working. After the foot is working, it's gonna go to the calf, works up to the knees, the lower thighs and the upper thighs. And after that, it's going to start kicking my butt with compression. And it's that simple. So like I said, I've been doing the Normatec for a minute. So I can normally go to seven. But when you're first starting off, bring it down to two and see how well that it feels. If it feels fine, all you gotta do is push pause and bring it up. But I will always tell people to start low first and work your way up high. Don't never start high because everybody else is doing it because they've been doing it for a minute. So always start low before you go high. Find your right settings, set back, and let the time to do its job. Number two, Casso Flex. Now why is this so incredible? You're probably asking, what is this? So you know how our hamstrings, our hips, our calf muscles, our ankles get tight. This is the perfect thing in your lower back. So how do you use this? You take your heel, put it in here. This pulls your foot. Now, as you lay back and you pull it towards you, you're getting that hamstring. But that's not where the magic happens. The magic happens when you roll this up and that flex of that toe comes towards you. Now you feel it in the calf and the hamstring and the ankle, and not only that, the hip as well. So you can go from here to bringing it out. The more you roll it in, the more your toes flex, and the more you get that flex and that hip, that hamstring, that calf, and that ankle. And remember, the hamstring is the reason why your lower back sometimes are really tight. You can also do your shoulders if your shoulders are tight. You place it here into your shoulders ah, and bring it here. It's stretching out your shoulders as well. So it helps loosen up the shoulders, your knees, your ankles, your calf, your hamstrings, all in one. This is the perfect tool to loosen up a lot of part on your body. All right, y'all, let's get into tool number three and one of my favorites. Now this is for the kickers. If you love to kick, a lot of people like to do side kicks, ax kicks, spinning kicks, and you wonder why everything gets so tight or your hip muscles are tight. It's normally because your psoads are tight. So the psoride, this little thing is small, but it's dangerous. It will opens up your psoads. So what is your psoads? Your psoads, the two muscles is right here that's in front. So what do you do? You put this here. Now gently go onto your psoads, 
elbows first till you feel it. Then when you feel it, you let your hips just sink down into it and you just relax. You relax until you feel the tension opens up. When the tension opens up, you sit here. And now people say, how long do you do it? Some people can do it for one minute, two minutes. I normally just sit here until I feel it release. When it release, I go up a little further and hit another part of the psoas. And then as I release, I get off of it, and then I'm ready to kick somebody in the face. This is an incredible tool, one of my favorites, number three. Number four, the Game Ready Ice Machine. Now the Game Ready Machine is almost like the Normatec, but the difference is, instead of doing compression, it's giving you that cold therapy. And this is what this does. Now, the only thing about this is you gotta have a doctor prescription. You can't just go and buy this off the site. You gotta have a doctor to write a prescription for you to get this. But now, you have to have a thing of ice. Why do you have to have ice? Because ice gotta make the sleeve, as you see me here, as I close it up, cold. I take the ice. I dump it in the game ready. Now, you won't be carrying this to the gym. You're not gonna be putting this in your gym bag or nothing like that, unless you're crazy like me, that I carry this around with me wherever I go, because remember, I love recovery. Recovery is everything to me. Make sure the ice is fully, so as it's full up to the top, I close it up, and then I turn it on. All right, y'all, let's get the game going. So this right here, this button right here is the power button. As you turn on, you see the display screen. This button right here tells you how much resistance or compression that I want, just like the normal tech. So you got medium and heavy, I love heavy. This right here would say the time, how many minutes do I wanna stay in here? Normally they said 15 minutes is the max that you want to do, so I do 15 minutes. This knob tells me what level of coldness. So this is not that cold, little cold, 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 cold. This is very cold. Like I said, I love very cold. After my settings are ready to go, I hit play and the machine begins. So the water and the ice that's in here goes into this tube all the way up into this sleeve and that's when the compression and the cold therapy begins. So if you have an ACL tear, meniscus tear, this is the machine that they normally give people. Game ready. Why? Because it gets you back in the game, baby. Number five, the last and final, the flex beam. Red light infrared therapy. Now, the reason why I use this for recovery, because this gets down into the cell level. So if I have a meniscus tear or my digestive system is not working or I got a rash or something, this would help it heal in the cell level. And that's why I love the infrared. So you see the back is where the infrared comes and the, the front of it where you see this, this is the fan. So it cools it down so it makes sure it does not overheat. This is an incredible tool. So let me show you how to use it by turning it on. So it all depends on what body part is hurting. This is where you want to wrap it. So my knee has been giving me problems. So this has a strap that you put the strap here, wrap it around, make sure the three infrared is right where you want the knee to be. This is the power. I turn the power on, give it a minute to go. All right, so then you got level one, two, and three. So. I love level three when it comes into the knee. Now, what is the difference? Level one just does one of the infrared things and level two does it all, but it does it on a low setting. And when you go to three, it goes higher. Now, if you do one and two, you get 100 minutes to use this. If you go to three, it's only 60 minutes. Now, how long do the session last? It only lasts for 10 minutes each session, but I will do 10 minutes and then I will move it to another part of my knee and do another session. So depend on what area of your body hurts, it tells you how many sessions that you do. When I'm doing it on my stomach, I do it at level two and I do the stomach across my stomach and then I do it long and I will do two sessions and that's 20 minute sessions. So there you go, flex beam hits the cell level, nothing like it out there, infrared. So there it is, y'all, my five recovery tools that I love to use for recovery. So I wanna hear what are some of your favorite recovery tools in the comments below. So if you wanna see more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one. This is Fight Camp.
an interactive training camp from the comfort of your own home. Tutorials and guided paths walk you step-by-step -step through the basics and sharpen your technique over time. Punch tracking technology and leaderboards provide you built-in motivation to help you hit your goals. Learn more at fightcamp.com. Your workout, and I don't expect you to be going non-stop.